Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 31. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Business 210, Chapter 2. Hey, we're on the sheet 32, even though this is video 31. We want to see how to use the data analysis and histogram uh, feature in Excel to create a frequency. Let's go over here. We're going to create a data analysis add-in. Uh, if you didn't add that in and you need to see how, go back and watch uh, video in this series number eight because you actually have to add in the data analysis feature. And then we will use what's called a histogram. We'll click on the histogram button and it will create a frequency distribution, a histogram, and a percent cumulative chart, all with just a few clicks. Now, we have done these this exact chart with formulas and pivot tables. Uh, this feature works uh, slightly different. Uh, we're going to have to give it some um, upper limits, some bins, and it will uh, then create our frequency distribution uh, histogram, uh, etc. Now here's our data set. Actually, why don't we go back and just real quickly, back in video uh, 20 and 21, we saw how to do we saw video 21, we saw how to do this with a formula right here. Uh, and we got um, exactly what we wanted. It was beautiful. You have more control when you use formulas and pivot tables than you do with this add-in feature. Nevertheless, we do have to look at this feature. It is quite helpful uh, and can allow you to do what we did with formulas and pivot tables quite quickly compared to those other methods. Now our goal is to look at customer age, uh, group them together, and then create a histogram. All right, here we go. We're going to um, go up to data, and if you've added it, this in, then you'll see the analysis and then data analysis. Boop, then you click on this. Uh, right here, you click on histogram and then click OK. Now it's going to ask you, what's the input range? Now, very important, you cannot include the field name when you uh, use this feature. So I'm going to click, or we're not going to. We could, but we're not going to. So we're not going to check this. And then we do our input range. We're going to click on uh, C21 and then Control Shift Down Arrow to select C21 all the way to C two two zero. And then I'm going to scroll back up. And this is where this feature gets a little bit different. We are going to uh, have to give it some upper range, some upper bins. And the pivot tables we did when we used integers, it didn't include this upper number. But this feature, when you include, when you give it the bins, that means for the first uh, group, this is the upper number, 20. Everything below will be included in here. And then the next group, 30. Everything between and not including 20 up to 30 will be included in this. So this is different. The bins, when we give it the upper end, they are included in that particular category. So I'm going to highlight the range right there. Now, it'll spit out these numbers in our chart, and we're going to change it. We're going to say uh, 10 uh, to 20, uh, 20 to 30, et cetera. All right, now we come down here. We want it on a new worksheet. We want cumulative percent to show on our chart, an OJIVE chart. And then we want our chart, our histogram. Now, the chart will spit out a histogram with uh, gaps, and we will change that. All right, and now we click OK. And just like that. That's a lot faster than how we did it earlier. Now, the problem is this 20, this is not the same chart as we did back in video 20 and 21, uh, or our pivot tables. This 20 is included, and since there's six 20s in our uh, data set, we get a 19 here. Nevertheless, again, the, all these charts are estimates. Uh, we're visually portraying data from the, all the raw data. So uh, this is an acceptable method. Now, we need to uh, clean this up a little bit. I'm going to say uh, 10 to 20, Enter. Now what happens there? I type 10 to 20 and it put a date in. Guess what? No matter how hard you try, that's going to happen because it interprets it as a date. So what do we do? We type an apostrophe. And now I'm going to do 10 
up to 20. None of the other ones will cause a problem because 10, 20, it can be interpreted as a date, whereas uh, 20 up to 30 cannot be interpreted as a date. All right, and then 30 up to 40, 40 up to 50. Uh, these are somewhat ambiguous because that 40 is not included in this group right here. It is uh, included in this group up here. Again, when I type 50 to 60, the 50 is not in this group, the 60 is. So again, when we use the uh, data analysis feature, the upper end is included, but not the lower end. Finally, we'll do 60 to 70. Notice, that's totally cool. It, it updates our chart perfectly. Now, we definitely need to clean this up. This is not a proper histogram. Let's get rid of this, delete. And then I'm going to click on this. We could right click and point to Format Legend, or just like we format cells with the keyboard shortcut Control 1, all chart elements can be formatted by Control 1. So I open that up and I say, hey, show me the legend at the top. And click Close. There we have that there. Uh, notice there's an extra more category here, too. Uh, the way this end chart this charting engine works is when you give it our bin back over here of 20. It says 20 and everything below. You give it an upper end of 70, right? You think that it would just interpret that and stop there. No, but it always adds an extra category in ca case there's some values greater than 70. Now I'm going to click here and change this type, maybe a data analysis. So I named that sheet. Now I need to do some other things. So I'm going to click on the columns, control one. I'm going to change the gap width to zero. Then I'm going to come over here to border color. I'm going to say a solid line. I'm going to change it to black. I'm going to click uh, this close right here. And with those still selected, I'm going to go up to layout, data labels, and then outside in. You can see we got different uh, results. They're still exactly 200 records being counted. They're just grouped in a slightly different way. Uh, we That one's fine. Ah, this one, we don't want that. I'm going to click, just click, and then start typing. You can watch up here, it says equals bin, but watch this. I'll type, uh, these are the um, classes. And then I'm going to hit, uh, and then how about in parentheses, age. So we've labeled, and then hit Enter. Notice as I'm typing, it's coming up there. I hit Enter, and there we go. Did I spell it right? I hope so. I'm such a bad uh, speller. I'm going to click up here, too, and type upper included, lower not included. I hope I spelled it right. I'm such a bad speller. Double click that. Ooh, I'm going to move this like this. Highlight uh, all of these right here and go up to Home. Uh, how about word wrap? And then maybe I change the. Uh... <coughs> okay, so there we have uh, how to use the data analysis add in feature to do a frequency table, histogram, and then cumulative frequency also. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick. Next trick uh, 32, next video 32, we'll do a summarization of all the different formula and pivot table methods we saw in this chapter two. All right, we'll see you next video.